What's going on, guys? We are playing T Bear or Turbran. So basically, he he adds shocks to to everything that you deal to your opponent as a red. We're going against all oh, man. We're going against the same thing. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get the same exact thing. Oh man, I'm going to keep. I gotta keep. So we're more of a land based type of thing. More of a land based. If he starts off with a soul ring, I'm gonna be so. Okay. We don't have too much, but we're gonna soul ring. Bam. Bam. <laughs> so we're going against another T Bear. Oh, dude. This is crazy. So if you want a simple uh, brew for this deck, definitely check out Jumbo Commander. He made one. It's really awesome. It's really cool. It's a really cool um deck. I took I took his deck and then I molded it into what I wanted. Because I wanted it to be more of, he has it like, you know, going wide and stuff like that. I want it to be a little bit more incremental. I want it to have a lot more draw power. Um, Sword of Animus is a must have in a aggro decks for me. Because I can pay for two next turn. I can equip it to an aggro creature and just get ahead as much as possible. One, two, three, four. Like I could, I could play. I could play my Solemn Summer Solemn Asalam Lake. And the boy could come out like it, it's it's for like things. I can play a one drop of turn one, turn two, play it, turn three, play him, play my land, swing, you know, attach it to the one drop, swing it. And I like to have some type of ramp, some type of draw power in all of my decks. I think artifacts, you know, kind of screw up the color pie just enough for you to have such a thing. On your side of the field so while he's playing while he's going land by land i'm actually incrementally getting you know ahead one and two uh i'm not getting much of three four like now i can put on a signal pest whenever by the way, I'm gonna put my signal pest out there. Like for two mana and then two mana again for your creature to be able to constantly get you some land. I think that is way more value in a, in a deck that's not supposed to have lands at all. Like you you have to shock it. And like look, I still have I draw a card. I I have a head. Yes, I would love to draw a card because you can't let me have that card. And he's probably going more of a Bolt Tribal-esque. Because now he's going for his Torbon. I wanted mine, but I didn't have the mana. And I take two damage. I'm going to take three damage. I take three damage. I'm sorry, my man. I gotta do it to you. Uh, one, two, three, four. Electro dominance. Yeah, I should electro dominance him. One, two. Yeah, I gotta let your dominance, you dog. There's the red. One, two, three, four. Sorry, my dude. Hit you for that foe. <laughs> I don't care. I'm still swinging. I'm swinging for my zero. Battle cry. It doesn't work for him, but you know. 
Take that zero. Take that fat zero. Take it. <laughs> All right, so like I I have a little bit of more card draw because I have the top a tormenting voice. Oh, okay, yeah, card draw too. Nice, player one. Hopefully you get a land. I would like for you to get a land, and now you can tap two, four, whatever. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. See, I told y'all, that's such a good card. I wish I had Electro Diamonds. I did two damage to any target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot let you guys have, I can't let you have that. You know you know that, right? Like, I cannot let you have that. Like, I can't let you have that. I really don't want you to have that. So, one, two, three, four, Five. Play Granny. Play Granny, cause she does like pretty much what she does. <laughs> Do two damage. <laughs> Shoot it off. Shoot it off, son. Signal pass, my boy. Signal pass, man. Let's go to combat. Now we have our ramp package going in. I mean, we don't really need the. We can we can always yield, always yield to that and and always yield to that because like we always want it to pop off. We want to thin our deck, get some extra lands. Yes, please. So like signal pass pretty much does what turbon does except for he only adds one because that's a battle cry mechanic but then she does the same thing she only adds one mm, that hurts so bad oh you gotta hit me for one Oh no, you're gonna hit me for three. You're gonna hit for three. Oh, so strong. So strong. I need like another electro dominance or something. But. Hmm. Hmm. Should we swing with signal pest? Should we swing with signal pest? One of the opponent activates the ability or one, two, three. We'll cast RT Bear. Let's cast RT Bear. We want a we want a nice solid creature here too as well, right? We definitely want some more some more stuff going down. Um, Signal is gonna attack again. Get us some more lands. Like we, we just need more lands. We're just gonna have to outvalue them with lands and then do, do a little bit more with what we have right now. It's still gonna take them a lot to burn us. Like we even it out just a little bit. We even out just a little bit. Like we we're gonna have to use our deck building ability. We have that same card. Hmm. 
but he has no cards in hand and we still have cards in hand and we're gonna be draw we have more chance of drawing value because of thinning our deck with our signal pest so quite literally the value that we've had is is what's keeping us keeping us afloat Cause we're like, he doesn't want to lose anything. And we're out here still, we're still getting more things going. Oh man. I wish he had haste though. I wish he had haste. So we have the same thing going. Uh, we're not going to activate this cause we're actually doing really solid when it comes to, so we're going to pay one. We're going to activate our Our hedron. Discard that. Draw some extra cards. Play additional land. One, two, three, four, five, five six. Actually, we can pay it seven. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pay the rest over here. We're gonna play the rest. We're gonna pay the rest over here because we we can get another creature on board, and then we still have more draw power because of our hedron. So we're gonna play some tap out. We're gonna play some t tap out magic. I don't think they're going to attack into us. I'm pretty sure they're not, but I'm sure they don't want to, they don't want to lose what they have. They don't have any cards in hand. Or if he activates ability, he takes damage. No, we're, we're probably just gonna, we could swing in. What, what, what would they lose? They, it would take an extra two damage would just wreck anything that he has on the table. And then like he would take an extra damn like he would have to take that right he would have to take that i'm assuming he would have to take that because he's gonna be swinging in for three like the extra damage from signal pest and and turbon is gonna be just a little uh probably pretty much a little bit much for him it's gonna it's definitely gonna start evening up the score you you would lose your T-Bear. No, you would lose your T-Bear. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you take damage, too. Does it do it to any target? Uh, but our T-Bear would still take so much damage. Oh, they're gonna target our T bear. That was his. That was his thought from the jump. That was his thought from the jump. Exile two cards from his graveyard. Oh, you only can do it once, huh? So you took four damage. Oh man, we do. We do lose a little bit. We do lose a little bit. I mean, we got we got more draw power and we got more stuff going on, so we're we're, we're super. We can we can play our T bear back again. We can play our T bear back again. They only be able to do it one more time, huh? Salam assalamu alaikum. Nice, the judge promo one. So take, he's more he's more of a subtle um more of a subtle perforos in my opinion because you just play other effects that do more or less perforos things but whenever the one one value is the is the thing that's killing you then like it can't swing because the one one he only has limited times to do that but if i play mine and i swing all at her and you know just it, it, like you can't block you like you have to let that happen Oh, if I play my turn, if I play my T bear, 
and then it's and then I swing. You have to kill my T bear like on the spot. Pretty much have to kill him on the spot. So we're gonna have to try and outvalue them some way, shape, or form. To target player or yeah. Ooh, I take a bolt to the face. I don't think you're swinging, huh? You're not swinging, are you? Uh, we're we're blocking. You have to deal damage to them, I believe. Yeah, because you only could deal one damage to it. And it's gonna deal damage to her. Okay, so that was the thing that was stopping me from um really paying my T bear. Oh man. That's such a good card. But we we may have to three four. To target creature planeswalker, we're gonna deal damage to. We're gonna deal damage to. Her. So now we're gonna deal more damage to her. The burn is real, son. The burn is real. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna hurt you. Oh, we're we're gonna hurt you. Oh. Oh man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause we could do we could do two damage to target creature. Get out of here, son! Pew! <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> WrestleMania runs wild. Holy crap, man. I love him. Oh, dude, this is so amazing. Oh, man. So what are we going to do here? Are we going to exile three cards of our library just so we can get um? I even want T-Bear to be swinging because so, we're going to be we're going to smack him hard. He has no cards in hand. We don't want him to have that many cards in hand. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're gonna exile. Play a land. I don't really have too much more going for us. No cards in hand, so even Torborn's gonna be. I don't want Torborn to swing. I mean, like, if if he swings, blocks. What if he draws a burn spell? What if he draws a burn spell? Yeah, I want to keep that 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 toughness where it's at. What if he draws a burn spell? We 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 do not want to risk it. We definitely don't. We definitely don't want to risk it. Gonna draw. He takes. Oh my gosh. Take it. Like we're still getting damage through even if he blocks. Oh man, so so much damage. 
Like, even if he blocks, we still dish out the damage to him. And we're just getting so many lands because of our signal pest from the start of the game. Uh-oh. T-Bear back in the game. Skull Clamp. Yeah, because we're going to be... Oh, and he hits the concede button. Well, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man, for jamming out with us, dude. You guys, please be safe and careful. That was the T-Bear. Yo, let me know what you think, dude. I love him. I'll take you guys later.